Established close to the financial centers of Cologne, Germany, we have arrived at the gate of the golf club Gut Lerchenhof and were invited by one of the first members and longtime friend Heiner. In my young age, this was the place to watch my idols on the golf tour and was ever since fascinated by this game. I admit the entrance can be quite intimidating and shows you already a sign of exclusivity. But with a reservation also guests can play and once you have chatted with the friendly staff and very helpful members, at least the ones we have met, you feel immediately welcomed. This beautiful course in the forest designed by Mr. Golden Beer has an unbelievable quality of the course. I'm already used to have an immaculate condition from tee to green on my home course at Gala Golf Club. But if I compare the courses I've played so far in Germany, I would say this is truly the best one you can play. There is hardly any divots you see, nor are there any patches or dry spots to discover on the greens. But the downside, there is no excuse you can make if you miss a putt. There is no doubt how much effort goes into the golf course maintenance. As a professional, you can play this golf course for free, as long as you are not playing with an amateur, which seems to be a fair deal. I haven't played with Heiner for a long time, so I was really interested how a swing would be now. Let me introduce my playing partner. His name is Heiner Müffler and has a legit handicap of 9.1, from the senior tee obviously. He's one of the first members of this club since its interception in 1991. I was quite impressed by his unique golf swing and was looking forward to start our round. Unfortunately we messed up our first tee shot since we didn't warm up before. So Heiner was fishing for balls straight away. As you can see his backswing is quite shallow which can result hitting it before the ball. His setup position for the ball is always on the toe to avoid shanks and doesn't need difficult swing adjustments. Genau. Before hitting his ball he focuses on his landing spot to feel comfortable with his following shot. His eyes are set nicely over the ball and maintains this position until the ball comes to rest. To hit out from the rough, you should hit more down on the ball and swing a little steeper. If you feel the ball has settled very deep in the rough, just take a club which has a little bit more loft, like a sand wedge or pitching wedge, and get it back first on the fairway. Hands should hang under your shoulders in setup position to create an angle between arms and shaft. Heiner was expecting a draw but couldn't swing enough from the inside, so he ended up pin high on the right. His target orientation is set up nicely towards the left because he anticipates a fight which is a common ball flight for him. Anticipate your common ball flight to align yourself properly to avoid rough, water, bunkers and other obstacles. Heiner doesn't have a swing from the books, but is very consistent to replicate each and every shot. Have your own swing and don't copy a swing you have seen from your favorite tour player. Try to stay balanced in the finish position in order to have a better ball striking. If you have a lot of green to work with, why do you want to hit the ball high? Instead let the ball run to the hole which reduces straight away the chances of doing a costly mistake. And keep in mind there are no extra points if you hit the ball extra high. I know aligning the ball every time to the target can be annoying sometimes during a friendly round. But I can tell you it has worked out wonders for my students in the past. Take advantage of this legal cheating method and sink more putts in the future. Reading a green perfectly is nearly impossible, but checking the break behind the hole can make you understand to see different angles better. Think out of the box and get longer putts closer. It's not about sinking 10 footer every time, it's more about getting long putts close to the hole for a safe two putts. Soon you will see how many putts you can save during a round of golf. Ja, 
I recommend to have always a little wiggle in the hands like Heiner. This helps us to become less tense before executing the shot. The 18th hole is one of the hardest on this course, with water on the left and rough on the right. Think about the shot you feel comfortable with it and make your adjustments accordingly. If you feel extremely anxious hitting it inside the water, likely you will see a bad shot to happen. Don't be upset with yourself after you have messed up the shot anyway. The good news are you have not lost maybe thousands of dollars like professionals would normally do after a bad shot on the tour. After walking 18 holes, Heiner was having some back pain. But doing some yoga for a couple minutes on a daily basis has helped him a lot prevent injuries and even produced a much better flexibility. It's good to see that he focuses on the landing spot and anticipates the roll of the ball. Imagine the flight and roll and your body reacts to this thought. This was my final putt to have a tie with Heiner today and earn my coffee. But he played so consistent from the senior tees, which made it hard for me to beat him. So I enjoyed my round with him on this extremely well-maintained golf course and look forward to our next round. Thank you, Heiner.